to prevent another war, better caution Asari Dokubo with his declaration of Biafran government. Igbo elders warned. He was born in 1964, which reveals the reason why I can say he did not know the meaning of war because he was three years old when our dear nation Nigerian witnessed a full blown war. The war almost turned everything in Nigeria upside down just because there was a struggle for supremacy amidst the Nigerian ruling class. Even though Asari Dokubo does not have enough experience about what mm -hmm. inculcated the war, I believe he must have been told what precipitated the war. Thus, it is so obvious that he purposely wants to invite war on the Igbo people by declaring a Republic of Biafra under the umbrella of the sovereign state of Nigeria. However, many of the Igbo whom he's doing that on their behalf know that it is contrary to the law of Nigeria. When things begin to go astray, the elders must make it right. That is why the Igbo elders must get up before he puts the Igbo in trouble once. We must not forget that our President Mohamed Bari is so lenient in terms of dealing with citizens, but that does not give us the priority to do whatever we desire in terms of declaring another nation amidst the main nation. What Asari Dokubo is doing is an act of inciting the people of Nigeria against the president and the nation as well. And that could mean an invitation of anarchy. Those people who were born before the Biafran war knew that Nigeria was a great country to live in. Things were going right and every Nigerian were happy. But the Biafran war disfigured the look of things. Now that we have managed to yank the horrible experience off, it will not all go well if we embark on what will disrupt the peace of the nation. The action of Asari Dokubo is an act of calling for disunity in the nation and it will only put him and his people in future problem. Hence, it will be ideal if the Igbo people and Igbo elders do not just sit and see things going wrong without making an effort. Mosul Asari Dokubo is not the only Nigerian who is propagating secession in the East. The Eastern Security Network is another example with their godfather Namdekano. These persons will not only cause anarchy in the nation but they will cause what may result into war, just as the Eastern Security Network is now facing the threat of the Nigerian forces. Thank you for listening to this news. My viewers, permit me to say that I wouldn't like it if we start um, getting the Eastern Security Network or IPOP into um, Asari Dokubo's problem or issue. You understand? Allow him to face his problem. Biafran's struggle has been in existence since 1967. Since 1967, so it is not a, uh, a struggle that just started today or started day for yesterday like Asari Dokubo has just declared his. The Biafran struggle is as old as this country Nigeria. You understand? 
if not for the deceitfulness and cheat of go on what we're supposed to be having today is Biafran Republic yes we have the Republic of Nigeria but then the Biafrans too we have their own Republic you understand so leave Biafran struggle Biafran actualization out of Asari Dokubo's issue. Asari Dokubo alone knows why he has done what he did. But everybody already know that Asari did what he did out of greed. Greediness. Everybody knows Asari Dokubo to be a very greedy person. According to some persons, they said he has gone out of cash. So, he needs money. So, he thought of if declaring Biafran freedom, some politicians will drag him aside, plead with him, and find him some money. You understand? So, he has his own problem to handle. So, let us just leave him away from this because Biafrans have nothing to do with him he should face his problem everybody already know Asari Tukubo to be a troublesome person he's an ex-militant but he has forgotten that times have changed times have changed things have changed so he supposed to by now change his style of action because nobody is smiling for the fact that Namde Kano is agitating for Biafran freedom doesn't mean that he will rise up and say the time has come for him to <laughs> my dear he may have the body the strength but he doesn't have the brain because if you don't have the brain, but you have the strength and body, you cannot make it work. You need both the brain, the body, and the strength to make it work out. So that is one thing Asagi Dokubo needs to go home with. That is what he need to understand before agitating because what I see Asari doing right now is trouble just like they said it's calling for war and that we see so please let's put Asari aside let me hear from you anyway I know what you have to say concerning this issue okay please tell me free to leave your comments below the comment box Click on the subscription buttons as well as the bell buttons to get updated mm -hmm. whenever we upload any new videos. Thank you.